welcome back class and today we are going to learn about eukaryotic chromosomes as we have learned in the last lesson that prokaryotic genome is quite different from eukaryotic genome um, let's have an in-depth look of a eukaryotic genome that is eukaryotic chromosomes um, these are the learning objectives that we have today as you can see homologous chromosomes carry the same sequence of genes but not necessarily the same alleles of those genes so let's have a look at the picture that we have already seen last time in the last one of the slides earlier there you go so um, let's introduce this and let's have a look at the homologous chromosomes so as we had seen earlier um, these two are homologous chromosomes and let's say one of them we are getting from the male parent and the other we have inherited from the female parent so these are homologous chromosomes as you can see we know very well that eukaryotic chromosomes um, or eukaryotes have two or more chromosomes all eukaryotes have two or more chromosomes uh, in every cell inside a nucleus. Uh, <coughs> they are called as homologous chromosomes because the word homo means same and logus means location. So we uh, have, we, so hence we call them as homologous chromosomes. Um, any guesses as to how many? homologous chromosomes we might be having in our cells yes I am sure that most of you would have uh, guessed it correct it is 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes so we have 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes that are present in our cell as humans so the main point that we need to make over here is that both the homologous chromosome pair so this pair let's say this is pair number 12 so in pair number 12 uh, both the homologous chromosomes have the same length if you can see they have the exact exactly the same length so they are of the same length yes and the genes that are present so there is a gene that is present at this point this point this point this point so there are thousands of genes that are present over here the sequence of the genes is same in both so they are exactly the same type of chromosome so let's say this is a gene that is there for hair color then at this particular locus you will have a gene that again codes for a polypeptide that results in the property of hair color Similarly, let's say there is a gene over here for eye color. So this, at this particular locus on the other homologous chromosome, you will have eye color. So the sequence of the genes is the same and they are at the same location. So if you can see in both the structures, the hair color gene is present at the same location. However, as we have learned in the last lesson, uh, that it's not necessary that both of them are the same. So since we are getting one from the female parent and other from the male parent, it may happen that you might get a black color, hair, black hair color gene from your father, whereas you might get a blonde colored hair gene from your mother or vice versa or any kind of combination that you might have. So these two can be alleles, but they are present at the same location. So that's, that's the point that we need to make at over here. Yes, so um, let's now understand the difference between a duplicated chromosome, which is this, as against that of homologous chromosomes, which are these ones. So typically, um, students get very confused as to what exactly are sister chromatids and what are homologous chromosomes. So let's have a clear idea of the same. So let's say this is how your unduplicated chromosome might look like so when the cell is an interface 
the chromosome that is G1 phase the chromosome is not yet duplicated so it's in the unduplicated form this is how it would be after duplication okay after duplication in the S phase this part which was originally present is now duplicated and you have two chromatids and since both the chromatids are same we call them as sister chromatids so these two are actually called as sister chromatids and similarly as you can guess these two are sister chromatids of each other similarly these two are also sister chromatids of each other so that's that's what it is about sister chromatids so then what are homologous chromosomes well now let's look at let's divide them okay this was in the G1 phase in the G1 phase there was an unduplicated chromosome did it have a homologous chromosome yes it did and it was like this yes what happened to it in the S phase what happened in the S phase guys um, as you can guess just like this one got duplicated even our homologous chromosome of the original chromosome also got duplicated for since I have no space I'm just drawing it over here okay. pardon me for my drawing but as you can guess just like this one has has so just like this earlier chromosome has a label it as X rather yeah so just like X has duplicated in this case over here um, even our tick marked chromosome is replicated over here yes and these two are now going to be homologous pairs of chromosomes so these two are homologous chromosomes please do not get confused between duplicated chromosomes sister chromatids um, that is sister chromatids and homologous chromosomes so now I think it would be very clear that these two are sister chromatids of each other whereas this chromosome is a homologous chromosome to this one so let me clear out the notes over here yes so if we are now going to look at our understandings or the learning objectives and this aspect is clear yeah so if you look at it we are clear with the fact that homologous chromosomes carry the same sequence of genes the same sequence of genes but not necessarily the same alleles as the genes so the alleles can be different but the sequence is the same yes eye color eye color hair color hair color remember yes so I think this one we have covered diploid nuclei have pairs of homologous chromosomes so our cells are diploid in nature so they have pairs of homologous chromosomes also the next point which was very difficult to teach was um, I think would be very easy for us to now relate that diploid nuclei that is cells or, or the nucleus of a, of a somatic cell a diploid nuclei have pairs of homologous chromosomes this is homologous these two are pairs of homologous chromosomes both of them together so let me mark that as a tick uh, haploid nuclei have one chromosome of each pair so uh, haploid cell let's take the sperm cell which has a nuclei will have one chromosome of each pair so half of this over here and half of this over here so if that's clear we are clear with our learning objective number three for this class thank you so much have a nice day